Hello everybody. Welcome back to Pap's Train Show. Today we will have the Mercury locomotive that I built. Also the Tennessean locomotive that I built. Both are River Aussie models and we will be running them. Here's the Mercury I built. It's River Aussie 464 Hudson custom boiler reshaped it all put new skirtings made new skirtings put those on added ribs to the boiler a few other little details and repainted it all to match the passionate car set that i got i only got four of the cars they're ihc mercury cars as you can see here they're pretty nice little pretty nice cars a little light probably need some weight put in them but other than that they look real good and roll real good pull real good and I'll take it off the track later and show you some more details on it and here we have a Tennessean it was a River Aussie Hudson and we shaved off the fin off the nose cone smoothed it out made two new side skirtings for the locomotive repainted it all added a little bit to the tender back here made it look a little longer on the top and then the rear trailing truck got changed from the hudson style to pacific's 462 style which is pretty simple to do it's just a direct bolt on don't have to do any modifications or nothing and then we have, I believe these are my Concord cars. It's a four car set for the Southern to Tennessean Streamline. And they're pretty nice cars. So we'll fire them up and let them go around a little bit. There goes the Tennessean. And then here comes the Mercury. The nice bright LED headlight. These both have the motors in the cabs. The old style. It's a pretty smooth running train. The Tennessean is a little bit louder running but still runs good. A view of it coming underneath the big coal tower. And there goes the Tennessee in the other direction. Well, while we're waiting for them to come back around, got the other trains rolling. The VO V and O up on the top. Here comes the Tennessean. <clears throat> and there's the Mercury. Mercury runs really good. different view and the Tennessee and the way down there coming a 
There it is. There comes the Tennessean again. There's the Tennessean. And there comes the Mercury. We got some graffiti on the bridge. A few little things. Here comes the mercury under the cooling tower. Here comes the Tennessee and underneath the cooling tower. The other direction. I did add a little thing, a little detail to the steel bridge here the other day. That is Mothman. See if we can get some better video of the suspension bridge that I built. The train coming through it. And it's got the lighted cables and then street lights on the deck. Flasher lights at the tops, the flag, lights on the sides of the, the brickwork, and then more lights coming down the cables. They're both going to pass you know, on the bridge. Back under the coaling tower. Another view of the Tennessean. Another view of the little town area. Picked up a little something I ordered a, about a week or two ago. 
a hobo shoestring tag. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. And he just started selling these about a week or so ago and I ordered one. Just got it a couple days ago. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. And I had Eric's layout here in Ohio printed on it. Normally people have the town put there. I just had Eric's layout. Thought it'd be a thought it'd be kind of cool. There's some close-up shots of the big four. You see where I weathered it, made it look like some of the the concrete was really worn. There's a few spots you can see rebarbing inside the concrete. Like right there's a couple. Dated 1923 when it was built. Some more rebarb coming through the concrete. Just a bunch of chunks missing and a little bit of weathering. I think it looks pretty cool like that. Like I said, I still got to do the other side. There's the mercury on the small viaduct. Coming, going behind the old farm. All right, everybody, here's the mercury. Kind of go over a few things on how I made it. Started out as a River Rossi 464. And you change the rear trailing truck from one off of a 462 Pacific and they fit right on just that screw. Just take that old trailing truck off and then put this one on. It fits right in there with the screw. But you have to use the screw and the spring from the Pacific along with the to fit in there just right. You don't really have to do any modifications or nothing. You can see uh, inside the shell. What I did was took a, a regular Hudson shell and uh, cleaned off some of the details and stuff and then use uh, body filler, fill it in, do some sanding, get it shaped where I want it, get it nice and smooth. And then I use uh, small pieces of styrene to do the ribs and then this I got out of another locomotive and cut and fit into there. And then I left the stacks and the horns and some of the other details for the top. And it still has the original cab. I cut out the window and added that little curve piece. And then made side skirts out of styrene. And then see here the front. Put the little steps in, styrene. It's all styrene, some all glued together. And after I got the boiler all shaped where I want, I glued all that on there. Made new railings for it. As you can see, it's it's one that it's got the motor in the cab. I try to make these like the way River Rossi would have made these, you know, if they would have made them. So. But I used some plastic uh, one inch PVC pipe, kind of cut it at the angle I want it to make this slope in the nose and then body fillered it all through here and sand it smooth and then give it <clears throat> a few coats of primer, sand in between to get it smoothed out and then uh, paint it. And I used the acrylic paints in my airbrush work really good and then I put a light coat of rust-oleum clear clear 
doll, I guess you want to call it. And then add the decals and then put another coat of the clear over top of that to seal everything. That way, if it gets dusty, you can clean it and not have to worry about messing decals up and stuff. And the tender didn't do anything to it, just repainted it. That's all we did to it on that. And then we installed the LED light. <clears throat> I think it took me a few weeks to build this locomotive. But I think it turned out pretty nice. And it runs pretty good. So a lot cheaper than the expensive brass models. Just a little work. Now we'll look at the Tennessean. Now here's the Tennessean. Started life out as a River Rossi Hudson. Like I said. We took off the fin off the nose. And made smoothed it out. And then put new skirts. Made new skirts for it. And... Had to change the trailing truck as well in this one, just like we did the other one off of Pacific. Fits right in there, no problems. This one has a can motor in it. Actually a River Rossi can motor out of one of the Red Box locomotives. And the decals are, I believe, an old Walther's kit. Hard to find. I've only found a couple of those over the couple of years. And then the rings are all hand painted. And it's shot of the other side. And then, like I said, I tried to build these like River Rossi would have built them. When they made when they built their locomotives a long time ago, and then the tender, it's just a tender off a regular Hudson, but we added pieces back on the rear here to make it look a little longer on the top, and just repainted it with acrylic paints. And then clear coat. And then add decals. And then clear coat. With the matte finish clear doll. I usually use. Like these style. Craft paints. You can get them at Walmart. Hobby Lobby. Or probably some other places. Folk art. Antis. You, get, you thin them. They spray great. And then I use the Rust-Oleum Clears, which works real good. Now some of these older decals, like these Tennessean decals, you have to clear coat those before you even try to use them because they're so old. If you don't clear coat them, sometimes they are just fall apart on you. So usually, before I, even, I get them out of the package, spray them with a light coat of clear, let them dry overnight or a day, whatever, then cut them out and then use them. Makes it a lot better. Especially with old champ decals, the Walters, and some little micro skills over time will do that on you. I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you liked it. There'll be a lot more videos of uh, trains that I've built. I have a lot of steam. I'll do one or two trains per video kind of go over and explain how how I did it and what I changed um, how I painted it where I got decals um, maybe run them with some cars passenger cars and then we got some diesels I have an Atherin DD40 that I built um, and I got a lot of repaint diesels I got some Indiana and Ohio's that I've been working on for the last month or so. Had the train cars almost done. 
So those will probably be on a video here soon. And then I got one in the stripper right now that's going to be a Cincinnati Eastern Railroad engine. Um, that'll probably be done in the next month or so, hopefully. And then that's about it. Then we get started on maybe building some steams here eventually. But right now I got a lot of, a few more diesels that I want to repaint. I want to make a few more Indiana and Ohio's, a couple of Cincinnati Easterns. And then I got a couple that just need a, a real good clean and maybe a re decal or something. So hopefully everybody enjoyed this and I'll see you soon. Thanks.